episode 32. Today we're going to make another batch of gluten-free pasta. Now everyone knows that I am uh, gluten-free because I'm allergic to wheat. Wheat has a tendency to make me break out, My I get super, super sinus infections, and generally I'm uncomfortable. So recently, in the last two years, I've finally found a recipe that works for me with ingredients that don't fight with my body. Well, not only am I gluten-free, I am also egg-free, but that's chicken egg-free. Now, I can eat a duck egg because, as I said before, a duck isn't a chicken. So, for this recipe, you will need three duck eggs, or if you can eat chicken eggs, five egg yolks five egg yolks, two cups of gluten-free flour. Now what I use is a product called Cup for Cup because literally it is cup for cup. Then you'll need two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of milk. I'm gonna get these duck eggs aside for right now and work with the flour. We're going to make a well in there. One. Got some shell in there, so we'll pull that out. Two. Get that worked in there. When we get this all mixed in, we'll put in the oil and the milk. Okay, I am going to go glove free with this. And I'm going to take off my rings. Keep mixing it until it comes into a firm ball, but also we need to add we need to add our milk and our oil. Ugh, that feels just like a wheat dough. If it feels too sticky, you can always go ahead and add in a little bit more cup for cup, which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to add about a fourth cup. I think I can start kneading this on the flat board. It's just like wheat. We are going to shape that into a ball, cover it up, and put it in the refrigerator for 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. We're going to unwrap this, and you see I have my pasta machine set up here. Now, break this into four pieces. Wrap the half up that I'm not using right away so it doesn't dry out. Sprinkle a little cup for cup. Roll this into a cylinder. Flatten it out. Get 
get my pasta machine on one, the widest setting. There we go. Let's do that again. I'm going to take this ball and actually do it in half. We're going to do these in smaller batches. And to the third setting, here we go. Excellent. Gets a little skinny, but that's all right. These are gonna be delicious egg noodles. You wanna lay it, lay it out long-wise. I used to put them into bird's nests and then they would all break apart. Uh, then I read that you should dry your pasta. If it's long pasta, you should dry it long, not in nests. There we go. Now for the broken one. There we go. Yes, there we go. All right. I'm gonna finish working with the rest of this dough and I will show you the end result when it's finished. Wow, it took us a little bit, but we did get a good pasta. Look at this. Nice and loose. Doesn't break very much. <laughs> okay, here's the pasta. We need to let that dry for one to two hours. 
Remember those make ahead, bake ahead meatballs? We're gonna use those tonight. And remember that pasta we made way back when we did, now that's a sauce? We're gonna use that. We're gonna put all of this together in one complete meal. I hope you enjoyed what you saw today, and if you did, please like and subscribe, and remember to comment. Don't forget to ring that bell so I can let you know when I'm coming back in your kitchen. Bye bye <laughs>